if there's the darkness, people wouldn't know what's sitting there. What? But when you put light on, you can see the things clear. The same thing, this project is being done. In 2019, I attended the Young Sikh Professional event, and it was amazing to hear about the journey of how they had the community come together and deliver Heritage Trail, recognising the impact that Sikhs had in Western Australia. That's something that's inspiring, and that has inspired us here in Final North Queensland to follow suit. You're kind of living in two worlds, like this westernised Australian world, and then you've still got your... Punjabi um, background, yeah, I'd like to help educate children. This is your background, it's nothing you should be ashamed of or educate other people in the wider community about it as well. Because it is a community that generally is quite reserved. That's just the nature of the Sikhs in this region. This interpretation plan is an opportunity to look beyond and broader and to have that connection with the broader community through it. When we approached Extent, it was to make sure we engaged with experts and got their skills and knowledge about capturing history, because we didn't know how to start that, how to do that. I was thinking about how this project was going to pan out. Jess and I were very keen to see how we go with the challenge of translation. I think identifying what stories are the most important is a really big challenge. What they think is just a really normal, typical story is actually a huge cultural value. This isn't one of those typical communities or projects where you've got a lot of written resources and documents that you could draw information from and that we were really going to have to rely on the people and their voice to tell their story, maybe for the first time. Common maybe assumption that people can make when they're working on a heritage interpretation project can be go in thinking that we know what the story is, we know what the community wants, and that can kind of lead to a top-down approach. And what we really want to do as heritage professionals is go from the bottom up. We want to be led by what the community has to say. We want to find out what their stories are. We want to be led by what they value. So we worked with a really fantastic team of people across different generations in the Sikh community and they helped us not only by translating but also acting as moderators when we were having intimate discussions with people who may not have English as their first language. And we also are trying to record in a lot of different formats. And through that combined approach we're able to overcome those challenges and be able to be here today gathering that history. The end goal of this project is for the Sikh community to receive an interpretation plan or a strategy. So what that looks like is it's a document that they can use as a tool to promote their community's heritage. It's a really long road, but what that means is the next generation and generation after that will all be able to take pride in a project that was just started in this room.